Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and giving you my opinion on the Mission Gold watercolors. This is the 36 set and it was $63 on Amazon. So it, this set comes with 36 7 milliliter tubes of professional quality paint and a palette to hold on. So in today's video, I'm just going to be um, pouring the paints into the wells, and if I have enough time, I'll also swatch them, but if I do not have enough time, watch my camera because I have no idea how to edit anything, then I will be doing that in a separate video. So here's a little pamphlet with pigment information, light fastness information, and transparency or the opacity of the paint. Okay, doke. So let's see. What? So here's what the <laughs> you can see it. Actually I actually showed that to you. This thing here, I wasn't paying attention to which way my camera is facing. It's the pamphlet of all the information about the paints. Here's what the paints are. In and let's see. Here's the tubes are or uh, size comparison. They're cell seven milliliter tubes, so they are about the size of my finger here. Let's see if I can find there we go. A ruler. So if you wanted to know how big the tubes were. There you go, so this is an inches ruler. Okay, so I'm going to figure out, pause the video real quick and figure out what, what configuration I'm going to have all the colors in, and then I will be right back. Oh, one second. Okie dokie, so here's what the layout of my palette is going to look like. I will not be using the, I believe, titanium white, or no, Chinese white because I prefer to lighten my paints just using water. But, yes, let's get started filling. So the thing with these paints is they are really cheap for a professional brand, which is really nice, but they do have some interesting pigment combinations rather than using single pigment blends. They're going very nicely into the wells. This also, this could have been something with the shipping, but my, what, which color is this? Permanent yellow light did leak onto my um, permanent yellow deep. But I don't mind too much. It's just something to note. Filling with the beautiful colors and make sure you can see what I'm doing and we'll get through this as quickly as possible because I do not know how to speed up the video all I know how to do is push the time-lapse button on my phone but I can't like paste videos together so we'll see I think since I don't have much to talk about I am just going to pause the video once I am done filling the palette and I'll show you what it looks like because then we can fit swatching the colors into the same video. So, okie doke. So here's them all poured into the wells. I'm going to again swatch the first few on camera, but then I'm going to do the rest off camera because it's going to take a while. And I think by the time now I have no idea how to edit anything. The paint's poured beautifully into the pans. They're nice and liquidy so they settled really well. There are a couple thicker colors. The um, tubes themselves which way do I want to do this? Come to about a dollar seventy five per tube, which is extremely cheap compared to say Daniel Smith, which is up to what is it? Like twelve dollars for a five milliliter tube. So these paints definitely are a good price, but yes, the 
colors are absolutely gorgeous, or at least this first one that I'm swatching out. The paper that I'm swatching on isn't great. I don't have the best paper. It's something I do need to invest in. But this is the Canson XL watercolor paper. Actually, I should probably tell you the things as I'm swatching them out, but I already threw them in the drawer. Hmm. There's an issue. I need to find them on. color was rose matter. Um, I did put the quinacridone crimson lake in the wrong spot by accident. So I think over this corner here I mistook it as a red brown. It's in the color label. That's what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Sorry if you can also, also sorry if you can hear the cat playing this up in the background. He can't be stopped. This is, oh, hold on, give me a second. Quinacridone Permanent Rose. Again, beautiful color. This next color is Permanent Red. nice like true red fire truck red color which I have definitely been needing in my collection beautiful color very pigmented very buttery again what else is that oh yeah the palette that it comes with is definitely very sturdy, really good quality palette. It is plastic and very smooth so the water is going to beat up on it, but or the paints are definitely going to beat up on it, but that's nothing that a little sandpaper can't fix. But yes, I'm going to finish swatching the colors and then I will come back when I'm done. Okay, so here are the swatches. Again, I didn't put white in there because I do not use white when I am painting. Um, the main, I was like, okay, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. They're bright, beautiful. The only color I'm not 100% happy with, but it's not terrible, is the Viridian. The only other Viridian I have to compare it to is this uh, Winsor Newton Cotman one. Let's make sure you can see it. I mean, on camera, they look like somewhat the same, but it definitely doesn't have that, like, kind of glow that the Cotman one has but yeah I am going to make another video because uh, I need to make some swatch cards with these still and comparing some of the colors to some of my Daniel Smith colors and some of the Windsor Newton Cotman colors. I also have some other uh, kind of random various brands thrown in there but yeah so thank you so much for watching I'll be making a part two in a couple of days. And I'll see y'all next time.